Hey, how's it going guys? So, I've got the Kinevo BTH240 Bluetooth headphones here. I've had these for about four months now, and I've been on and off with them. I've tried other headphones around the price, uh, which do sound a little better. I'll talk more about that later on at the end of the video. But as for these, in my review video, if you saw that, I originally said that I'd recommend these for the gym. They were great, and I still stand with that. These are really good. They never... Um, get in the way of my workouts, except when I'm maybe uh, laying down to do sit-ups, uh, maybe I have to like adjust it a little bit and whatnot, and uh, when I'm squatting too sometimes, like this, uh, the bend tends to hit it sometimes, and uh, I, it's just, uh, it's not really even, uh, it doesn't really bother me, I don't know for other people if it would, it's a really small thing. Uh, yeah, but one thing that did concern me was this band itself which is uh, pretty, uh, which is made from plastic and it seems pretty fragile to me, but you know, I've went, um, I've done some uh, extensive, uh, <laughs> I've done some extensive things with this, like pulling it all the way and uh, you know, nothing's happened to it surprisingly and it works, uh, it's still, um, it's still in one piece as you can see right now. And uh, yeah, the other thing I like is that these can fold up, which I can easily go ahead and just put it into my pockets and uh, just carry them around with me. And then the other features are the is all the control talk and all the controls here. I don't know if the camera is not picking that up too well, but yeah, uh, this has been pretty helpful for me in my workouts. Instead of me having to take out my headphone, uh, I mean my uh, my phone. I can just go ahead and skip a track or raise the volume from here. And I, I really like that about these. They make uh, going to the gym and exercising a lot more simple. Now as for sound quality, or yeah, as for sound quality, I thought I was, I thought I was forgetting something there for a second. Um, but yeah, for sound quality, um, the bass, as I've, as I've been continuously listening to this, uh, the bass is a little lower than what I'd like to see, than what I'd like to hear, of course. And um, the mids and highs are okay. They're average, I'd say. Average. Um, I can't say much more than that. And these do get fairly loud, but not too loud. And I actually like, I actually prefer having something that's not too loud. But some people really want to turn it up when they're in like an intense workout. So, you know, keep that in mind. I'm not sure if these are sweat proof either, but yeah. Um, yeah, with a low bass, you know, I've really noticed this stuff when I've uh, just been relaxing. Not, not at the gym, just like at home, relaxing. Uh, I've got my phone somewhere and I'm just listening to these. And yeah, I have, no, I have noticed the sound quality difference. You know, it's, uh, it's not too clear and you know, it's not bass heavy, but for the price point, I can say that these are still good. And for the price, I'd still recommend this. At, um, at the time of this video, it's $25. But if you're willing to spend a little more for your money, like let's say $5 more, then go ahead and check these earbuds I have. I've used these and uh, I've made a video review on this one, not on this one, but I've had a couple, I've used these for a couple of weeks and I can say that they have better sound than uh, the Kinevo BTH240s, not by much but it is a noticeable difference with uh, a more solid base. And um, I'll have the links in the, in the description where you can uh, check these two out. As always, thanks for watching and uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and I'll see you in the next one.